We're at Chillicothe, Missouri Airport today with Rick Bradley and Bill Kiefer, our two test pilots. And today they were flying Skywheel rotor blades for the first time. We we're recently bringing Skywheels back on the market. We've been working on the project for a little over a year now. The rotor blades are being made at Blackhawk Composite in Morgantown, Kentucky. Today really was the culmination of a lot of work on behalf of the team to bring this to fruition and to bring the rotor blades back on the market. And of course, it's very important for us to emulate the performance and history that Skywheels has meant to the gyroplane community for many years, beginning back in 1984 when they were first paired with Air Command gyroplanes. So bringing everything back to its newness today was really important for the entire team, and I felt that we accomplished that goal today. We have a rotor blade now back on the market, newly manufactured, performing just as well as the original Skywheels brand. Jim McCutcheon brought to market back in 1984 and sold over 6,000 individual blades. And hearing Bill and Greg's comments today were very important to me to understand not only from a performance uh, capability but also their first-hand experience in flight. We can simulate things on the ground with our spin-up equipment, but to hear their actual comments from flight meant a lot. And to know that the blades were really tuned in quite well with some minor, minor adjustments in the field we were on track and flying again. So it was really a great day and a culmination of a lot of experience and effort uh, these last few months. Today, uh, Skywheels uh, performed really well. We, uh, we are in the heat of the summer here in Missouri right now, and we decided to get up early uh, with the temperatures being the, in the uh, just before uh, 70 degrees, it's going to heat up fast today. So we got out and performed tests on the rotor blades for the first time. We had set up yesterday on um, tracking and uh, putting the blades together to prepare for the day. Uh, we found the performance um, very f similar to uh, our previous Skywell blades that uh, Bill and I both both owned. I own a 25-foot pair of uh, Skywheels, and uh, and uh, Bill Bill does also. So uh, we had been both flying those previously, so we can compare the the old versus the new Skywheels, and we found uh, that these Skywheels are uh, excellent blades. And uh, following the the legacy of the Skywheels. Uh, Rotor blades is that uh, they were just there was no surprises and they they were smooth they performed great we took them through uh, their paces we had to make very minor adjustments so I think we only made adjustments uh, well mine was the cord balance we had to turn it a quarter turn on the uh, cord balance barrel that goes to the uh, the block the main uh, up bar block. And then I took it back up, and the blades were smooth, both in track and in cord balance. And uh, we just had a ball flying. I also went to loading the blades. I did some uh, some steeper banks and pulled back on the stick. And uh, I got I didn't get a lot of stick shake with that. You you do get a little bit as you load the blades with any rotor blade. Uh, but I didn't, uh, there was no surprises there. It, uh, they were right uh, right where I wanted them to be and without a lot of stick shape. So uh, they're just solid blades. I'm just really happy and excited that these blades are now back on the market and uh, we all can enjoy them. They're, uh, beautiful blades. Uh, the red is an excellent red color. I, that's my favorite color of the blades is red. I can't wait to, to fly them again. Get back up as soon as I can. These blades, uh, they 
They hold inertia really well. They uh, take a little longer to spin up, but uh, you don't want you don't rush any blades for spin up. Once you get them up to speed, they uh, they stay fast. They don't uh, change speeds very much, uh, especially with uh, high loading maneuvers. And I would say that uh, the fiberglass blade is uh, durable and it's easily cleanable, uh, getting bugs off and uh, debris for each flight. I think that uh, as far as the ease of uh, adjustment, uh, once they're, uh, they're set, they're, they're good to go. Even when you tear down and put them back together, uh, there is no surprises. You, uh, you just go buy the book on, uh, on how to handle your blades and care for your blades. They'll last you all your flying career. So I highly recommend, of all the blades I've had and flown, uh, I uh, was so excited when I heard uh, these uh, blades are offered again because of all the reasons I just spoke of. For me, it was uh, flying uh, air commands with sky wheels, like in the old days when I first started flying gyroplanes. It, it was like, it's great to think that uh, it's, the package is back. You have the airframe and you have the rotor blades uh, joined again. And I see a great future with this blade. This is the second air command I've had, and the first air command had uh, sky wheels. This airplane had dragon wings when I bought it, uh, changed over to sky wheels. Uh, nothing wrong with the dragon wings, uh, just uh, my preference is the sky wheels. So it's the ease of flying, uh, ease of starting, hand starting, softer landing for me. And uh, she likes the blade that uh, for the machine. Sky wheels perform real good. Uh, today we're flying today. The density altitude here is 3,000 feet. And everything went well. The uh, rotor spun up good, flew good, landed nice. The rotor workmanship was nice. Very smooth set of rotors. What I notice is that compared to other rotor blades, other than sky wheels, their ease of starting uh, would be harder to make them flap on takeoff. Uh, softer landing, landing speed might be a little lower, maybe. Uh, for a student pilot, a new pilot, I think they would be my blade of choice, the sky wheels. blades are really a nice blade. The factory really done a nice job building them. They look nice, they fly nice, they land nice, they take off nice, and they exceed all my expectations of a rotor blade.